By now, you're well on your way to exploring the far reaches of Enshrouded, but what if I told you there were three legendary sets of endgame armor you could hunt down right now? You'd probably believe me. That's the kind of thing that you'd expect from a game like this. You'd be right. Now, all joking aside, Enshrouded is a ton of fun, and part of the enjoyment comes from crafting or finding epic loot that allows you to push further into the game. In this video, we're returning to a location we talked about before and showing you how to farm for three endgame armor sets. Now, I'm not going to bury the lead here. This is what we're chasing down right here. Three armor sets, each specializing in a different aspect of Enshrouded's combat. The Elder set enhances a player's ability to deal magic damage. The Eagle Eye set is designed with range players in mind, and the Radiant Paladin set boosts the capabilities of melee players. The best part about these armor sets is that they don't require any crafting, and you can farm them from a singular location with absolutely no fighting so long as you have access to the zone, have the double jump skill, and a few stones lying around to create a flame altar. Now, before we dive into the technique, I do want to show you each set of armor so you know exactly what you're playing for here. Because ultimately, if you don't think it's worth it, then there's no point in hunting it all down. As I said before, the Elder set enhances magic capabilities. The head increases magical crit chance and crit damage. The chest increases health and mana. The gloves increase damage against magical foes and increase your magical damage multiplier. The legs increase mana and mana regen. And the boots increase mana regen and reduce mana timeout. The eagle eye set enhances ranged capabilities. The head increases ranged crit chance and crit damage. The chest increases stamina and health. The gloves increase ranged damage. The legs increase stamina and sprint speed, and the boots increase stamina regen and reduce stamina timeout. Finally, the Radiant Paladin set enhances melee capabilities. The head increases melee crit chance, the chest increases health and stamina, the gloves increase damage against melee foes, the legs increase health regen and health, and the boots increase health regen and reduce health timeout. The question you might have at this point is, are these armor sets good? It's a valid one, and quite honestly, you could get away with crafting your own set of armor, but that takes time, resource farming, and NPC progression, just to name a few. To gather the resources required for three comparison armor sets would take considerably longer. That, and the fact that the sets I just showed you, have comparable stats. Let's look at the Radiant Paladin set, next to the current endgame Soldier set. You will see there are some slight advantages on crafted pieces of gear, the Soldier set in this case but you can also see a different allocation of stats. If you're someone that likes to min-max a build and is trying to create the perfect enshrouded avatar, then you don't want less options, you want more. And that's exactly what we aim to provide in this video. All right, with all of that out of the way, let's dive in. So first things first, if you happen to catch our Ghost Glider video, then you already know this video was coming because after unlocking that legendary item, we teased that it was not the last time we'd be exploring a particular sun temple. And lo and behold, we are back. To start, you will want to do this solo as the host of a server. You could do it in co-op, but since loot is shared, there's really no reason to. Next, you'll want to make your way back to the sun temple to the far south of the Kindle Wastes here. Place a flame altar on the right side of the temple away from the enemies and close enough to this opening on the side of the building. And don't forget to interact with it to force your respawn here. Once you do that, you'll want to double jump into the window and make your way straight back to the set of stairs leading down, and then interact with the lootable tomb here. This is the key to getting all three legendary sets of armor. That's it. Now, I will caveat that with the fact that armor is not a guaranteed drop, and based on my experience, you're looking at about an hour's worth of farming to acquire all three full sets of gear, but that's essentially a night's worth of work to pick up some of the best gear currently in the game. Right after looting the tomb, you'll want to head into the in-game menu, return to the main menu, and then restart your world and the server. When you spawn back in, you'll be at that flame altar and you can continue farming the tomb until you have all three full sets of legendary armor. Let me know how you make out and how long it takes you to complete your three full armor sets. Leave us a comment down below. and Don't forget to check out some of our other Enshrouded videos already released on the channel. My name is Kodiak, and from everyone here at Legacy Gaming, thanks for watching and play on.